All right, we're here with a uh, pro play game sponsor player, Jacob Harden. He's gonna show us his uh, near max ready Luar deck. Almost there. Almost. almost, almost there. All right, let's get All into right. the goo. So for the starter, we run Creeping Dark Goat. First, I didn't like this card, but then I got tired of writing Folder, so learned my lesson. Yeah. Ran the goat. Very important. Very important. So for grade threes, we run Coach four of the best card. In. Four of the best for card. This deck. Oh. Best card, Luar. Let you uh, strive for free, and let you sack something called two. Pretty self-explanatory. Why we run this? Pretty self. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Now we run three Folda. Folda's really good because she lets you call out your stand trigger that has an effect, and your crit trigger, which also has a very good effect. Overall, a good card. Don't want to write it though, so don't do that. No, don't do that. Yeah. And going on to grade twos, we have probably like before it wasn't the most important card, but I'd say this is the most important card now other than the ward, is Morfessa. Morfessa is really big. It just helps you get that ritual faster, so you don't have to sit here and just ditch all your ones and get rid of everything faster. You can just be like, oh, I don't need this, so discard it for a guard or anything. Helps fill your ritual early game, because people attack you, are just like, thank you. Uh, next we run, what's this guy's name? Noise? I don't know this guy, now. I just know he's like mana. We don't know names. He's, we a, just, he's a ritual three mana. We just turn over yellow cards. Power, so. Let's be called stuff for free. Ritual three, GB one, of course. It's this card's okay. I like it. It's more of my just my preference. You don't have to run this. You can run four of the next card if you want. Maybe three of this, but at least three. This just helps against Narakami too, or like Kagro, and they're just like, oh, you have nothing. So if you just have this, it's free two cards or free one card. Next, I run four of the uh, Ritual eleven K. Really good. You can get uh, obviously two K for attacking and then Ritual. And then this first ability helps a lot with the crit, lets you draw two, just helps you get set up. If you're like one off from Ritual and you have one in Soul, it helps set that up. Overall, good card. Uh, now on to the uh, important parts of the deck. Or Ezra. Mm -hmm. Ezra, very good PG. Can only guard Vanguard, otherwise it'd be broken. Best PG in the game, yeah. Easiest PG to return a hand over and over, really good. Um, it's just amazing. I love this card so much. <laughs> Look at people's face and they're like, that's the seventh PG. Yeah, really. exactly. It's great. So next we run... For Abyssal Owl. Good card. Helps you search out your Luards if you have Folda in hand or you whiff on the goat. It happens. It also helps counter charge, which sometimes you need. But you don't really need it as much now. But if you need it, you have that option. And we run, oh, I run three stride potters. Now, the reason I say three is because getting that first stride is very important. I don't want to have to ditch a Folda when I can save that to set up for like a Doom plus two. Or I can save the Folda for a um, drag stride return and use it for that and not have to, uh, you know, use this. Because sometimes you're just like, oh, I'm one off ritual, stride this, you're good. Nice, yeah. Next, we run a very good card. It's basically Grenache oh, as a grade one. Okay. Very good card. You just slap this thing behind your drag strider, start powering it up with the stands that return the deck and the crits, and you just make your drag strider nearly on Nearly on yeah. Smart. Now on to Swordbreakers. Yeah. Really good card. Helps you get your uh, ritual. You usually only, like always just first turn call these. If you already have a good setup, if not, you gotta call what you gotta call from the wide skill. Yeah. So it's writing a card. writing a PG is not yeah. terrible. Like you can go PG plus this, get the PG out, use Aura Geyser Doom, sack it off, and then get your PG back. Yeah, so. yeah, you can. Yeah, it's a good card, and you can run one, but like consistency. So two, yeah. It's just like sometimes that one goes to damage. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit! Well, I have no other way yeah. to soul blast unless I go into a stride. Yeah. So you just wanna, you just wanna make sure that doesn't happen. Next, we run for the best crit in the game. So, what's your name? Blah, blah. Blah, blah. We don't know that name. I don't know his name. Yeah. I just know he lets me draw. Yeah. Really good card. Gotta have the Ward Vanguard, but it's super good. Free pluses. Now we got the other um, really good stand trigger in this deck. <laughs> Cursed Eye Raven. Cursed Eye Raven. Super cheesy. Use that grade one plus this. You rest it. You call some more cards. Just get that little combo going eventually. It's just like, oh, Blah, and an Abyssal. Yeah. 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 It's really good. Free pluses. And this, like this draw mainly, I run four draws just because it's 
sometimes you just need like one or soul like one soul for something you're like okay well i can put this into soul power up drag strider and then use it for like say that grade two that lets you draw for sacking one you can just use this for that if you're like one soul off little things like sometimes you just don't have soul and you just need it so it kind of helps and of course four heal four yeah heals, four oh, heal done jake in the heels yeah you just gotta have him. you gotta, gotta heal you gotta heal all right let's go okay. into the strides down to the strides We'll start with, we have two doomed. Mm -hmm. Two doomed because sometimes, like, this card's really good. Good first turn stride, lets you plus, lets you retire. But the only reason I run two is because sometimes first stride, you don't have the ideal setup to hit ritual seven to go straight into drag strider. So sometimes you need to go into it again. Or, like, if you, like, you know they're going to survive a drag strider turn because they just have a lot of zeros and G guards, you can just go into this again and kind of force some more cards out of their hand. And, of course, got to run two aura geysers to go with the two dooms mm -hmm. that's all we use them for that's all we use them for yeah next we run yeah. i'd say the boss card of the deck what do we what do, oh um, drag strider the ward what's oh, oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> being broke sucks so, so um, what does this do so basically what he does is ritual seven oh. you uh sack two discard as many as you want and for every card you discard, he gets power based on how many you discard, and he gets a crit, a drive check, and guard strength. So, Damn. Just throwing this at your opponent when, like, you know they have three PGs in hand, it's just it's the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah. Because they're just like, oh, no guard. Yep. Really good card. That's why I run three of it. Now this is this is a tech choice. I really like this. Like, I run two of the Claret Sword Stride because, like, just sometimes, like. If you're playing against control and like like say Kagro or Narcom, which Kagro's no problem, but like Narcom is annoying. They'll just they'll get rid of all your stuff. You're like, okay, I just I need to put out a field, I need to attack, I just need to feel period. And you're just you were able to stride, you have like one card and you know it's gonna get blown up next turn, or like you could be playing blasters or you know, just anything. Just this card's really good. It's just calls for every face grade, it calls a grade one for every face up in the G zone, so you just you don't usually go into this first second. You usually just go into this like after you've gone to like two striders. You're just like, oh well, I need to replenish a field so I can set up for a strider. Or if you just don't have the resources, you can go into it. Okay. Next we run the one spectral duke. Yeah. He's a restander. Just restand. Yeah. It's a it's pretty free. Yeah. I mean, just sometimes that'll win you the game. Very rarely will you actually go into this card. And of course, to go with them to flip, I run a sea breeze because. Cause sea breeze is sea breeze, yeah. and I can justify it with Duke. And I run a GB8. I have I literally haven't gone into this card since the since yeah. the new stuff. It's just kind of there. Like you can run a fifth G guard instead of this if you really want to run that other one. But I just like the GB8. Nice. Yeah. Like those are what like two games where like you need it. Yeah. Next, I run three plot makers. Oh man. Only three this time. It's free 10k shield, but like, there's another card that helps that I think is really good. It's a good tech card. Another G guard. It's it's really good. This is good too, though. This is just denies most attacks. Yeah. For sure. And of course, now we run the one of spicy. Chick. It's one spicy tech choice. Now, if you don't know what she does, basically you get to look at top five and you get to grab all grade ones and put them in the Guardian Circle. So it's like a free quintet wall. And sometimes it's just like, you're like, okay, well, I have two ritual, I use this, hey, I may get one or two, but like, sometimes you get lucky and you get five grade ones, and you're just like, okay, where's your god now? No, yep, yeah, man. not getting through this? That's, yeah, free ritual. But then you're just like, oh, ritual seven, go straight into drag strider, and you just win. Yep. All right, cool. All right. This is Jake's and new the deck. It's a lot of fun. Truth be told, I haven't played it in a while, but really fun deck either way. Nice.